Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Jason. I'm the founder and CEO of Smarkets. So Smarkets started, uh, I studied computer science at university. And uh, my first job at a university, I was a stock trader. And when I was trading stocks, I was really into the presidential election. And this is back in 2004 when Bush was going against Kerry. And as a political junkie, I read all these articles about who's going to win, what the chance of Kerry winning versus the chance of Bush winning was. And then somebody that I traded stocks with showed me this website that would allow you to trade the outcome of the presidential election. And I thought, holy cow, this is such an amazing concept that you can take an electronic market and apply it to an event. But even though I had a background in computer science and stock trading, I still couldn't understand the interface. And I thought, there's got to be a better way to make this product. And that's what uh, caused the founding of Smarkets. So my co-founder and I, both computer science graduates coming from finance, we saw the sports betting market and we thought, why doesn't the industry treat sports betting like a financial product? So betting's been around for thousands of years. Uh, so obviously, it's an old industry. But the big difference is people treat it like a high margin, low volume industry, where we want to treat it like a low margin, high volume industry. To put things into perspective, uh, we operate as a betting exchange. We're the UK's second largest betting exchange after Betfair's betting exchange. To put some scale on it, we think we're about 10% of the UK exchange market. And because we have such a tight commission, we offer a 2% flat commission, we think we often have the best odds in the world. So our, our main USP is price, and our second USP is technology. So the main reason to use Smarkets over anything else is because we offer the best odds. And you know that's over Ladbrokes, Paddy Power, Pinnacle, you name it, we have the best prices. So to put some numbers on the online gambling industry, people know it's a big industry, but just to give a sense of scale, online, um, so gambling around the world, sorry, gambling in the UK is worth about 13 billion pounds per year. Online sports betting in the UK is worth about 1 billion pounds a year. And we think we're around 2% of the market size, uh, just to put some, uh, some numbers on it. So we have been incredibly capital efficient. And this is something I'm very proud about as a company. Last year, we did 25 million revenue and 10 million EBITDA, pre-tax uh, profit. And that's with 74 employees, which I think makes us one of the most profitable companies per employee in Europe and probably the world. And I want to highlight this for two reasons. One, I think it shows how efficient Smarkets is in the marketplace, that we're able to take really good technology and apply it to this old industry. The second thing is it shows how ripe this industry is for innovation. A lot of people think, oh, betting's been done. There's all these names like William Hill, Ladbrokes, Paddy Power. A lot of people think there's nothing to do there. But the, the average margin in sports betting is 10%. And there's a lot of room, and we've proven that uh, very, very strongly, that you can have the best price and still make a lot of money. So because I came from finance with a computer science background, as did my co-founder, we have built Smarkets completely differently from every other betting company. We think about it like a financial asset class. Therefore, we're going after what I like to consider the top 10% of the sports betting market. So anybody that wants a bid offer spread when they're trading an event uh, should use Smarkets. So if you, were, if you follow QPR, and you want to bet 10 pounds every once in a while, Smarkets isn't the platform for you. But if you want to bid offer spread, you want to trade the event, or you want the best odds, Smarkets is the platform for you. I think it got jammed. So our key, our key is, is taking sports betting. And you know the, the speakers prior to me were talking about insurance. And insurance is essentially the same thing as betting, except you have an economic interest in insurance. And betting tends to be around entertainment. So the nice thing about betting, however, is we feel over the future that when we are successful at turning sports betting into an asset class, we can trade. Uh, you can hedge the risk of certain events. So for example, if you're the owner of Arsenal and you want to hedge the risk that they'll get into the Champions League, you can go into markets and hedge that risk. If you're uh, a healthcare provider and you want to hedge the risk of Donald Trump trashing the insurance market, you can go into markets and hedge that risk. We don't just trade sports. Uh, we've been focusing on sports because that's where the volume is right now. But we also offer bets on politics, events, and other kinds of sports. 
So for those of you that are familiar with the Bloomberg terminal, this will look familiar. Uh, we don't offer live charts yet. That's a feature that we want to ship soon. Uh, but this is the direction that we're taking markets uh, so that you can trade the event just like you would gold, a stock, wheat, currency, or any of those other types of asset class. And that's it. Thank you very much.